Today's video, ladies and gentlemen, is all about tickling the starfish of the virus investigation series. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you've been following the last virus investigations, we covered the recent pandemic that's sweeping the globe right now and found the uh, weird phishing email version of it. It was a weird rabbit hole that we went down and ultimately we came out of it unscathed. Now, I'm gonna be real with you. See, COVID-19 is a big scary thing in the world right now, okay? It's a pandemic. I definitely think it'll have, you know, problems with the world going forward. And right now, people are stocking up on toilet paper. It's pretty much pandemonium. But right now, I'm just going to be honest with you. Look, I'm not, a, I'm not a medical professional, but I do know panic leads to panic. And the mass panic that we're suffering right now can lead to bad things. So remain calm, okay? Hopefully things will, you know, dial down. Be careful. You know, definitely if you feel like you're sick, don't spread it. Be careful, all right? This is, this is a time where care is is definitely something you should be you should be uh, you should be putting your full focus into but that being said okay there are maps right now on the internet that you can view to get a rough idea of what coronavirus is doing around the world now unfortunately the map portion for this didn't load but the general idea over here is there's a real-time map that you can view that will give you an idea of what uh, COVID-19 is doing around the world basically the parts where you should be safe and the parts where oh crap you were absolutely fucked now, as far as I can tell you, this is a real-time map. And if you're checking this out to see if your area is in danger or where you are, hey, that's fine. But check the URL for an area like this real quick. See, the URL for this website is coronavirus.jhu.edu slash map.html. Now, this is directly hosted on the John Hopkins University web server. This is created in collaboration from what I believe the medical staff, medical students, and the web, 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 uh, web students and, and computer science students. Now, if you click on this little lock and key over here, you can see that the connection is secure. You can even see that the certification for this is valid. And all of that is gravy. Now, that being said, there are hackers that have stolen this page, stolen the code here, stolen effectively how this page operates, and have spread it around and are using it to basically give people this information, but also malware associated with it. Now, here I've got a Linux virtual machine here, Debian to be exact. And the reason why I've done this is, uh, is just, again, if you're running malware, even if it's not malware targeted towards your system, you should always be careful. So that being said, I've got a couple, I've got a couple URLs open up over here, okay? So I've got coronavirusstatus.space. You see how weird the HTMLs, I mean, the, uh, the web addresses already look? See, dot .space, I mean, this one won't even load up. Then you've got coronavirus zone, which I actually checked in this map, which is actually a pretty good looking map, is one that is not bad, but you know, it's, it's one of those websites where you have to check and make sure that everything is fine. And then you can go around over here and see sites like coronavirusrealtime.com, which uh, we'll actually get to a couple things in a bit. Then you've got pandemic survival, which is survivecoronavirus.org uh, video right here. Military source exposes shocking truth about this deadly pandemic. Yeah, okay, dude, click, clickbait the fuck out of me. And then you've got, oh, bgvfr.coronavirusaware.xyz. You know, when you get to the XYZ URLs, you've effectively hit the fucking, you know, <laughs> south side of the internet, if you, so to speak. Now, VirusTotal and sites like Cyber Hybrid Analysis do a great URL virus check where you can actually toss some of these in. Like, we'll just take this URL right here and just slap that daddy in here and just hit search. And bam, look at that. Nine out of 71 engines detected this URL as being malicious. Phishing, malicious, malicious, phishing, malicious. Meaning that there are AV agencies out there that have actually flagged this page out and said, that's not good. That site ain't cash money. Now, if you take coronavirus zone, for instance, and just slap that in there real quick, you'll see that, yeah, it's a clean website. That's fine. How does pandemic survival fare? Actually, that hits a, that's hit a, that, that's hit a suspicious flag, but so far it's a, it's a clean site, so you win this time. Now, looking up maps, I'll tell you one thing. Out of every website we went to, aside from the clickbaity one, every every piece of information we received was was good. It was great. It was gravy. It was good information. The problem is there are some sites that get the clean rating, but then there are some sites, like I told you, where you'll get a landing page too. Somebody will link you that website in particular, and you'll get hit by malware that will actually launch on your computer. Now, the malware in this specific case is, uh, is one that's been floating around for a couple years. It's a Windows-targeted malware that actually steals personal information as soon as it touches your system. It'll steal your passwords, it'll steal, I believe, crypto wallets that are stored on your system, and also text files or unsecured documents on your desktop or key uh, landmark locations on Windows systems. Now, the thing about this is that, listen, 
even if you think you didn't download anything shady, just by visiting a website like this, you're already running a bunch of scripts that eventually lead to little programs that'll lead to a full-blown CNC server connection. It's like the Word documents we looked at. They themselves didn't contain the malware, but they contained the directions for the system to target itself to get the malware. And that's kind of what you're doing over here. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I, I feel bad to say that in today's day and age, especially with the pandemic we're living in right now, that there are people out there that yes, they are profiting or trying to steal data from individuals who may not know as much. Look, I, I may know about this you know, easily, but there's gonna be a lot of people out there, I'm in the minority, there's a lot of people out there who don't know anything about this. And it's why I say you should share a video like this so that people who don't know much about computers can, be, can, 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 can watch themselves going further into this, all right? Otherwise, they may end up getting their personal data stolen. You know, it's like looking at phishing emails, right? You have to look at where the email comes from. Even if it's spoofed, most of the, most of the times, when you get like that weird email from your bank, just look at the address that sends it to you. Guarantee it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a BS address. And same thing goes over here. Make sure you check the URLs of the, of the actual maps you're going onto. If it looks shady, if it, if it gives you a little doubt, be careful. It gets a little dangerous when it goes onto your cell phone where sometimes on mobile devices, you don't actually see the entire URL until you scroll up or, 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 or open the web entry uh, field of your actual mobile browser. So I understand that there's a bit of, a, bit, bit of an issue when it comes to all these things amalgamated together, but generally you have to watch out for all these things. Now that being said, this is a Windows targeted malware, but that's not to say me being a Linux user going to these web pages may not get me targeted or may not infect my system. Same goes for Mac users too. Look, we're living in COVID-19 times. There's gonna be a lot of hackers out there who try to take advantage of the situation. And it's why I'm telling you to watch out for yourself going into it. We used a VM on this just because I didn't wanna risk anything to begin with. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that being said, if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Just like it if you dislike it. If you learned something, let me know. Make sure you share this with the people around you. This video doesn't need to go past longer than it already is. It's just a simple PSA. That being said, this is me, Mudahar, and I am...